All right. So after that, uh, so after that tangent, time for another one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the next couple of parts are probably going to be conversation streets. I might as well rename this entire thread conversation conversation street the LP. No, no, no. Uh, change oh, you have to you have to get the materials to build this conversation street first. Oh yeah, I gotta go take some pictures real quick. <laughs> Let's see, uh, my Morgana beanie, uh, and plus my and plus my my PC. Okay. My <laughs> in copies of Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they're yeah. You, pr you can probably have ten copies. Yeah. What is this? This Geostone just has three goofballs talking over a video of this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, yeah. There is uh, something that's probably worth mentioning in relation to the Moonflower Palace, other than the fact that the big bad kid who's trying to destroy the universe is operating from a place called the Moonflower Palace. Mm -hmm. But we actually have the card enemies here, which I think returned from the first game. Yeah, and they were. They, are... they... they suck. <laughs> <laughs> I hate they the card are enemies. A unique, they're a unique type of enemy for Monica's monster transformations. You unique? remember those, right? They <laughs> they still exist after all this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. We we totally have been um, using the monster mechanic. Yeah, I totally didn't plan to do a video just showcasing the wolf transformation and then never bother because it sucked ass. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's particularly useful, but they are a final chapter enemy, basically, in a mechanic where all the other enemies you can turn into are from, like, chapter 2 and 3. <laughs> yeah. The problem is... getting that transformation is one of the most expensive things in the game. It's three emeralds, isn't it? Or oh, diamonds, diamonds or something? Yeah, yeah three you, diamonds. You have, to, you have to get three diamonds, which are already very expensive upgrade materials for your weapons. Put them in a gift capsule, which you either have to buy or invent. And then you have to throw it to one of the diamond enemy. And then you have to defeat it, and it'll drop the coin that lets you turn into card enemies. They are at least a lot stronger than most of the other things you can turn into. Okay. That just sound that just sounds really convoluted. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean most of the things you can unlock are fairly intuitive or you turn into a monster and talk to other monsters in that area and they'll tell you about it. Mhm. Mm yeah, hell I hell only I think showed off one monster transformation which was the the plant people. The one that you have to do to progress totally, basically. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a choice about that one. I mean, the card enemy, at least, I think you can use their block mechanic when you turn into one of them. Mm. Okay. But I don't remember. It might be just the attack. I know each enemy has two things that you can do. The only other one that I ever bothered to use was the, uh, the Gemrons, those little element-spitting dragons. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, Steve has stopped to listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Steve talking. Got EX, he has stopped working. <laughs> tell, tell me more. <laughs> he, will, he will still talk to you even though he hasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're kicking their butts! Like, we haven't seen an enemy in three minutes. Hmm. Yeah, the Gemrons at least have a long range attack, but you can also do that rolling thing where you charge into the enemies. <laughs> So, if you're trying to get any of the medals for clearing a floor using only monster transformations, those are pretty much the only two that are any good. Alright. Yeah, for for what it seems... I, I, honestly, with, with a lot of this playthrough, with, with how Hal's been playing, it seems like a, a pseudo-second verse, same as the first, where Hal's been mostly just been playing Maximilian, so he can use Steve. Because uh, Steve is kind of a big old nuke... It's like I play in a way that would really annoy people who, who actually knows this game off the back of their heads. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, to, to be fair, Hal, I... I, I uh, that, that's pr I pretty well... There's like... Uh, there are two games... There's only two games that I get annoyed at how other people play because they don't play like I play. <laughs> Which are Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Resident Evil 4.
Well, thank God I'm not doing LPs or either of those because it'd be just <laughs> you going. Why? How? Why? Stop using Why? the T stop using the TMP, damn it. Why <laughs> for sixty odd bars? <laughs> This is the first time I've heard that list not include Dark Souls on it. I, I I'm I'm honestly not a Souls guy. I you I'll play like I played three, but I've I'm like I don't get offended at, at how people play Dark Souls because I suck at Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, believe me, I, I I can barely play Bloodborne, so God help me on Dark Souls. Uh, yeah, I I can I can easily get through like the first quarter of Bloodborne before I like either get lost, or I'm just kind of tired of playing the game. Ooh, a dagger. Ooh, you got the good one for a change. Oh, no, the Ram Sword. I think I use that quite a bit, actually. Called it a, I called it a dagger. <laughs> but the Lamb Sword is interesting because depending on the time of day, it becomes stronger. Wasn't, wasn't there a weapon like that in Dark Cloud 1? Yes, there was. Uh, lamb Sword. Yeah. It was, okay, uh, I, I was just making sure because I, I remember how using I'm the lamb sword. I'm pretty sure I used it in Dark Cloud One as well. Mm -hmm. Well, in Dark Cloud One, it was for the character you were actually using. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the character he used for like ninety percent of the game, and then uh, Osmond, uh, and then he used Osmond a good amount. It was like ninety percent. Uh, Kazan, because that's all I can remember. And then it was, um, 5% Osmond, and then 1% everybody else. Well, no, you used Stray Cat for a while, but then, but, but then, like, Ruby... Only, only, only because, only because I kind of had no choice but to use Stray Cat for ages. Yeah. Or Zhao, or whatever her actual name was. <laughs> I, I remember you, you used Ruby, uh, you used Ruby quite a lot, but I think that was also because she had that gimmick of having to open, you had to, ha you had to use Ruby to open doors. Mm. Well, every character had something that you had to use them for in order to get through. Yeah, that's that's true. Because um, Wa Wamu had the uh, he t he twisted his staff to to get rid of uh, sandstorms. All right, that takes care of you guys. And I'm quite sure it's time for more. No, wait, I, can't <laughs> I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna play more golf there. Oh man. <laughs> But I want more Hot Shots Golf 4, which had Jack and Daxter. Welcome back to part 49 of our Pangya LP. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we got now, we, now we're, we're, now we're swap, we're, we're, we're completely changing uh, LPs. We're playing, we're now playing, uh, we are, we are now playing Hot Shots Golf. Uh, forget, forget Dark Cloud. We're just gonna go play Hot Shots Golf. Yeah, so the rest of this dungeon. Let's just do 20 straight parts of speeder. <laughs> <laughs> or we could play the only golf game I'm capable of. Golf without friends. <laughs> Dang. I mean, I love golf. I mean, I like golf with your friends. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, there's... I, I couldn't get it because I, I don't have any friends. Damn. I, I think I actually got the game for free, so I can't even say I bought it. Uh, I, I bought it and played by myself. A friend bought it for me. He's like, "Here, here, Kazan, have this." Okay. Uh, what? It, what? Your, what? Your, it's what? Your, really possible that I own it. <laughs> what your What your friend didn't tell you was it was something of it had already and just wanted to get my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe who knows? I I'm one of those people who just kind of accepts whatever he's given. Because I've been gifted, like, I, I remember uh, I, I, when I first built my PC, when I first built my PC, um, a friend of mine, I told my friend, I was like, hey, man, I, I just built my PC, it's really cool. Okay, here's five games. Like, off the bat, he just, like, because I, I think the Steam Christmas sale was happening, too. But he's just like, okay, here's, like, three new games to add to your Steam library. Now go play it. Now go play games. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, oh, there's there's a big speech thing. Is there, is that how you're supposed to, like, turn off his, his, his voice box? No, uh, you pick yeah. the energy pack from the inventory, and in the menu for that, it has the turn off voice option. Gotcha. He's trying, but... <laughs> no! <laughs> no, you can't make Cedric buy it back. Those 3,000 DXP are just gone forever. <laughs> 
Actually, it might have only been 1,000. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, shut up, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking there at we go. I did there that. Go. I turned it off. The evil's dead. <laughs> I didn't remember any of these enemies. It's like they're all just recolors of the chapter three and four enemies, I think, but. Pretty much, I think, as you said earlier, the only brand new enemy in this whole area is the cards. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard e to remember. And even, <laughs> and even then, they get a wee skin halfway through as well. <laughs> wow, that's a. Uh... It's actually impressive. Oh yeah, that's right. Man, how you're luck with these coins. Oh, there's a reason for that. I'm cheating the system. How are you cheating the <laughs> I've, system? I've got a villager traveling along with me who can make the coins go to heads all the time. What? <laughs> oh yeah, that's what she does. I noticed you had her in your party and I, I forgot what effect she had. Yep, that's what she does. She... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, how are you just kicking them while they're down? Why are they not dying? Because of assholes. <laughs> there we go. You shot him. You shot him, you bastard. <laughs> Jeez, you're just like kicking them while they're down. Yeah, stop yelling. Ah, they're, 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 they're we skin crowns, no one's going to miss them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot this. I this think for some reason, I used to use the wrench more than the hammer, but probably just for the variety, because mm -hmm. the top wrench is weaker but faster. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of keep forgetting that this plot starts off with you killing a clown man, or that a <laughs> clown man wants your plot stone. And like tries to kill you for it, and then you beat up his mech, and then he also has a, a elephant named Linda. That just God. completely destroyed your weapons. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, that 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 kind of screwed me. <laughs> it's a good thing you have weapon powders, or that you have all the repair powders you need. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I just thought of something. Hal, Hal. Okay. Yes. So I have, I have, not to. I I myself haven't discovered it, but I found a book series, slash the adap. Uh, I watched the Amazon Prime adaptation of Good Omens. If oh, you've Good ever, Omens. Yeah. Have you ever? Have yes. You, I've, yes. I've read the book and seen it. Yes. It's I've great. I've never read the book, but I I heavily enjoyed it simply because. It's basically just Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy if if uh, if, uh, if, uh, if if angels existed. <laughs> Play much? Have you yeah. read any of the Discworld books then? I have not. Oh, they will. You read the shit. Yeah, I de no, yeah, I definitely haven't read the Discworld books. Yeah, oh. my my favorite thing to say about Discworld is there was one line in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy that was far and away cleverer than anything else in the series. What's that? And it's when the Vogon ships first appear, he says that they hovered in the air above the Earth exactly the same way that bricks don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's pretty much that's pretty much Terry Pratchett's normal narrative style. And he was half of Good Omens. Oh, I... Oh, damn. I... Yeah, then I definitely need to give this a read, because... I, I heavily enjoyed I heavily enjoyed Good Omens and also just David Tennant like like David Tennant was really good uh, what's the I always forget the other actor's name his last name is Sheen but uh, uh, something it's oh oh Martin Sheen no I think it's Michael Sheen has not that uh, something like that I'm gonna have to quickly Google this. There was a there was a couple of there was a couple of good Discworld adaptations that was on a couple of years ago in UK TV. I don't know if America ever got one. Michael Sheen. Uh, I don't know. It was Michael. Yeah, it's Michael Sheen. 
uh, I loved. I just love the whole show. And um, is, is there a sequel to Good Omens, or is Good Omens just a one book? Yeah, it's just the one. Okay. It's just the one. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, uh, yeah, it it had definitely a lot of Terry Pratchett's normal style. I haven't read any Neil Gaiman, but I'm pretty sure that. It's or, right between the two, the, and it has a yeah. lot of Terry Pratchett's signature subtitles. The only Neil... Yeah, I've, What's up, Hal? I've read a lot of Neil Gaiman. I would agree with what Needle King said there. It's kind of like the middle line between Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman's writing styles. The the only Neil Gaiman thing I've read is the Coraline short novel, or the, the Coraline short story. Um, but that's also because I love Coraline, the movie. It's like, it's one of my favorite movies ever. And the short story is just, it's literally like, it, it's like a, a hundred page story. It's nice. I cannot say enough good things about the Sandman series. The Sand, the Sandman series? Yeah. It's a comic book series Neil Gaiman wrote from 1987 to 1996, I think. It's 80 issues, it's amazing. It's been corrected many, many times. Mm. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. Probably the, the best illustration of what makes Good Omens so great in book form is that there's a subtitle that, that takes up about half the page. It's just a description of the British monetary system. <laughs> like, two halfpenny to one penny... And then two penny to tuppence, and you know, all the way up to like shillings and guineas and whatnot. And then at the very bottom, it says the British resisted dem decimalized currency for a long time because they thought it was too confusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love that book. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's it's pretty great, and the. The, the the Amazon Prime. I keep thinking. Of, I keep almost wanting to call it like Netflix, but it's a, it's an Amazon Prime exclusive uh, series. Was was pretty entertaining. I'm afraid it's going to die like this. I need to get around to watching it. I just have so many other things to do. Yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that feeling. It's it's definitely you're gonna have to sit there for a good afternoon to watch the whole because it's ten episodes, but each each episode is like forty eight minutes to an hour. Was that ten episodes? Was it really that long? Uh, it, maybe it was ten episodes. Uh, let me. And I'm gonna have to go double check. I'm gonna have to go double check that. I, <laughs> I, I could. I could have sworn it was like five episodes that are like fifty minutes long each. I'm, I might piece. be. Hang on, hang on. It's Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is happening. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is. A tale as old as time. Waterfall cotton. <laughs> well, I need to... And the flower bathed in light, which I think was the other thing that you need to make the sexy panther. I Along think it is. Along with a picture of a rifle and a picture of Max's mom. He will know to pack it up before taking the picture. <laughs> uh, it is. It is six episodes. Okay. I'm ah, thinking. Sex. I'm thinking of a different Amazon Prime series that my girlfriend and I just watched. Uh, just watched like yesterday or day before. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's six episodes, and each episode ranges between um, uh, between fifty-one to fifty-six minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I've made like... it through the entirety of Doctor Who, except I haven't gotten around <laughs> to watching the most recent season yet. I think mm -hmm. I can manage six episodes. Yeah. I mean, David Tennant is one of the main characters, if uh, if that helps anything. He plays the, yeah, the demon yeah, Aziraphil. I've seen enough David Tennant, because again, Doctor Who. Yeah. But, eh, I'm, that, sure, I'm sure it'll be good. I just have that, to actually find the time. That's the interesting thing about UK TV shows. They don't go on for long, but the episodes that we do get are very... Lincoln. beefy. Yeah. <laughs> and you can make level up powder now. Yes, I can. Things with the sun in them. Except I think in order to make one level up powder, you need one of those absorption coins, which are already really rare. They're near impossible to get at this point in the game, and they're very expensive to get in Chapter 8. 
I thought man but like you actually get more shopping options in Chapter 8? Because I know a lot of the shops you can't get to at that point. Um, the basic shop in Pam Brinks sells a lot of the stuff that you would usually get at the f in the future in Chapter 8. <laughs> We've got the road to Golbad and road to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just have road. Look at how janky. Like Look at how uh, janky uh, our face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the so road janky. is the yeah the the road is very like not straight and it, it's kind of annoying. At least for like the the roads to Golbads. <laughs> To be fair, it did say make it as accurate to the pitch as possible. It didn't necessarily say be straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other weird thing is every other town that you've ever built in the series, once you're done, everybody says, wow, this is even better than it used to be. And here you got to be exact to the picture, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, I love what you've done with the architecture, how the paths don't quite line up properly, and I keep tripping. <laughs> I, I trip whenever I'm trying. I trip on random, inconsistent, uh, inconsistently placed bricks. <laughs> that sounds like one of my death traps, all right. <laughs> higher, uh, higher, <laughs> higher, David Bowie here. Uh, David Bowie for your interior, for your exterior decorations. Level five's Techbo's deception. <laughs> <laughs> 